Who am I? That's right, Altered Beast! We are going to play all the way through Altered Beast today! And do you want to know why we're going to play all the way through Altered Beast? One, because Altered Beast is awesome. And two, because I didn't really have the time to do a book and my future uh, Oz video that I'm working on. So, we're going to do some filler! Rise from your grave. Yeah! Have you ever played Altered Beast? Altered Beast is the game where you are a resurrected corpse who was brought back to life by Zeus himself to rescue Athena. Yes, Athena, the like goddess of all fe goddess of uh, feminism basically has been kidnapped. How's that for irony? All right. Yes. And there's all of these Cerberuses and every time you kill one of them, it turns into a ball of energy. And it turns you into He-Man or something. And you just get stronger and stronger. And then... Whoop. Hey. And, every... and then you become a monster! <laughs> Who immediately gets beaten the hell up. Yeah, take that, take that. Hadouken, 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 Hadouken! And... Whoop. And, um... Psycho Kick, or whatever you call M. Bison's web attack. Woo! There we go. And then there's this guy. Yeah! And you can do super jumps. And you can just hit this guy. Welcome to your doom. <laughs> and he turns into... Th this! What is this? <laughs> Something that cuts off its own head to use as a weapon multiple times! How do you come up with this? And his whole lower torso is just this heap of grave. It's like a... It's like a, a mass grave furry is what he is. And now he's dead. Oh, his name was Agar, by the way. That's the Wizard of Oz. And that's how this game works. This game, by the way, is really easy for the most part. But you really gotta pump in the quarters to keep it going. Oh, he's gonna sacrifice her on a cross. Ooh, creepy. See, this is how Sega games work. They didn't worry about your rel being about insulting your religion like Nintendo did. Okay, what are these monsters? These are guys are called round leeches. They don't look like leeches to me. They look like disembodied plesiosaur heads. Okay, usually the brown ones are quickly accompanied by the white ones. And the white ones... Oh! Well, one, they kill you. Yeah. Oh, I missed! Great. Whenever you miss a white one, it means that the bad guy, Neff, is going to show up. And then he'll leave you behind because you won't be ready. Oh, great. Hey, remember that guy? Those guys are in Golden Axe. They're called Chicken Stingers for their habit of stinging chickens. Well, that's a lot of round leeches. I have no idea what you call these gargoyle guys, but hey. Ugh. That leech was leeching me roundly. Hello. Did I miss two white wolves? I thought I only missed one. Bring your friend. Ah. Ah. Hey, come back to life. Yes. Power up. Yes. Oh. Now this level has the best monster that you turn into. I just hope it comes soon. Yeah. You like boulders? I'll break your boulder. Put your arms around me, Wolfie. And these snake guys have a name too, but who cares? Ah, again! I missed another one. And I'm He-Man. Now the problem here is that you can, you only get three chances to collect never them all. Even if you never give up. 
And then... Neff gets tired of waiting for you, and he just summons the boss anyways, like... I don't know why. Why doesn't he do that the first time he meets you no matter what? It's almost like he wants to put on a show for you. Come on. Hey, you! Ugh. He felt I wasn't ready. Okay, here we go. Get ready. You feel like that last one was deep, was for affinity. Here we go. Oh. Woo! Not just a dragon, an electric dragon. He's just super invincible. I mean, you, you can barely tell that he's kicking because he's just this giant electrical field of dragon. Woo! Do you see that? I've collected three of the balls in the dragon form. Like, boy, they're they're taking no chances with you. He's like, you get the balls this time or uh, it's over, Charlie. I love how the wings go flying away when you beat up the gargoyles. Like, Whoa, we're out of here, man. I mean, I have a range attack, but why bother? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To your doom. Yeah, yeah, my doom. You turned me into a giant dragon man! Yeah! Whoa! Who is this boss? His name is Oct Eyes. There we go. And that was Oct Eyes for you. An eyeball plant that dies. And then he steals back the crystal balls. Hey, I collected a lot more than that. I should still be a dragon. Oh, well. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, he is. He put her on a crucifix. Oh, geez. Look, and he's got a bunch of brothers with him or something. Oh, and here's the opening credits music that you heard on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive if you're Japanese or European or otherwise just don't know what a cool video game system name is. Woo. Okay. Ah, these wolves, they just... Come on. Jump at me. Yeah, thank you. Whoa! That slug turtle. Yeah. Never give up. Good thing I've got that on free play, or I'd be dead. Oh. Uh, oh, son of a! Uh, power up. Here you go. I have the power. How do these guys with exposed ribs beat me up so badly? <laughs> I like melting the turtles. <laughs> Why am I in a cave? Why are there wasps running at me? Ovipositor first? Oop. Or maybe those guys aren't chicken stingers. Maybe these guys are chicken stingers. I forget. Okay, give it to me. Guess what I turn into here? Come on, guess. Oh, you son of a bitch. Are you really gonna... There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm a bear. I'm a bear with the ability to... You know... I'm a bear with the ability to breathe on things and turn them to stone. As, you know, as bears do. And then you destroy them just by rolling into them. Actually, the, the roll is your real weapon. Welcome to my breath. Welcome to my bear breath. It's pretty neat that you turn them to stone, though.
It's like a stomp attack almost. Oh, gross. There we go. Guess what time it is, folks. Welcome to your doom. No, come on, Karis. It's moldy snail time! Yeah, that's actually what this guy is called. Moldy snail. Well, for one thing, that's what it said in my Electronic Gaming Monthly Guide to Altered Beast. I mean, it actually said, it's moldy snail time. Which always sounded like the most awesome uh, catchphrase for a cartoon character. It's moldy snail time, bitches! Woo! Whoop! Whoop! And this is how you find him. Just keep breathing on him. Breathe him to death! While you destroy his projectiles by bouncing in and out of them. Yeah! Look at him flash. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Come on. You can't handle my breath. Yeah, I'm a bear. I like how when he squats down, he's just a bear. There we go. <laughs> At least he makes a portal for me to the next world. What's he doing in my absence? He's... Um... I honestly don't know what he's doing. He is absorbing her into a bird. Alright, this is a hard level. Actually, the last couple levels get really hard because, well, they want you to keep pumping in quarters. Let's not forget, this is how arcade games work to the day. Oh no, I missed him. I missed him entirely. Great. Let's hope I can get the... I can get enough of them in time for the crocodile worm. That's what the boss is called. He's the crocodile worm. That's worm with a Y. Great. Where are you, Whitey? Oh man! I didn't get any. And now for the hammer demon. <laughs> Do you play croquet? These guys are called headless horrors. I like how they wear their own skulls on their hands. Like like evil ventriloquists. You know, as if there were any other kind. Oh, these guys explode. Ah, jeez. Really? I mean, I got all the way. Three of them passed me. Oh my god. These guys are just the worst. At least they can't jump. Come on. More punches. Come on. You know, I think these, this specific zombie sprite has been what I always imagined zombies to look like. Never give up. At least when I don't imagine them as having mops of red hair like they did in Ghosts and Goblins. How come no one ever makes zombie movies where the zombies look like they did in Ghosts and Goblins? Crotch punches. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you guys! You're back for more, eh? Dang it! I always time it wrong. So I may end up actually fighting the boss guy with no boss monster power. As an unaltered beast. Yeah. Come on. Okay, final. Up. 
This game really rewards you for being good and punishes you for being bad. There isn't much of a curve. Has anyone been counting how many times I died? Maybe I should. Should I put up a, a counter? Man, the weak ones are back. It seems Ness has started to underestimate me. Did I say Ness? Neff. The bad guy's name is Neff. Like the clothing brand, and it always and it always throws me off. Like the clothing brand with that weird little smiley face that looks like he's looking up his boogers. Okay, give me a wolf. Thank you. Oh, good lord. Okay, yes. Da 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 Okay, give me a third one. Yes. Don't you go anywhere. And here comes... Where tiger? And what can I do? The same things the werewolf does, but only but up and down this time. I'm just a more vertical version of the werewolf. And look at how the whoop. Look at how my fireballs go in a sort of sine wave pattern. That's actually kind of neat. So there's only really three pow powers, and one of them is uh, rotated. Speaking of altered beasts, can you hear my cat whining? Mr. Boy, you're just going to have to wait. Welcome to your doom. There we go. And now for the boss that we call Crocodile Worm. Whoop. And what is he? I mean, look, he's got this empty stomach cavity that he fires fireballs out of. It's... I don't know. He looks sort of... Never sort of fetal, doesn't he? Like it's a... Like it was supposed to be a fire... Fiery dragon. But... It, he just wasn't finished. He came out of the egg too early. Whoop, 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 whoop. Or the incubator. You know, you'd, for a dragon like this, you'd need to have a uh, really uh, hot incubator. Come on. I'm just going to keep torching you with my foot. Up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm not even going to bother. Okay, there we go. Crocodile worm. Look at those statues of that rhino guy. Why are there statues of Rocksteady in this temple, or whatever it is? And... Okay, so he turned the goddess Athena into a dove. Okay. Oh, oh. Goats. Goats that need to be kicked to the crotch. And of course I missed the first white wolf. Mean unicorns! They need to be kicked in the face! Come on. Finally! Power up. Well, I can't lose them all. Man! Never give up. You annoying spinny fish. Okay. Dang it! You know, you're supposed to be three-headed, not nine-headed. Stop appearing in groups of three. Okay. 
fish. Land fish. Just that turn to saw blades and just roll around. Also, boars with tonfas, because, because why not? Didn't I see you in Shadow, not Shadow of the Colossus. What was it called? What was that game called? Shadow of the Beast, not Shadow of the Colossus. I wonder if Shadow of the Beast and Shadow of the Colossus have any connection. I've never played Shadow of the Colossus since I've never had a PlayStation. There we go. More fish. More mean unicorns. Call me Twilight Splatter! Okay. Alright. Oh, and I over overruled the never give up command. Now it's okay to give up. Excuse me, I'm trying to get over to where the white wolf probably is going to be. Aw, oh, man! Ugh. This game is very frustrating. What happened? Did he just explode on his own? It looked like he did. I don't remember hitting him. Hoppy goats. Hoppy, hoppy goats. So, I mean, horses, goats, and boars. You know, we are just down on the farm, aren't we? Okay. Get the f out of my way! Another werewolf. Well, at least it's a golden werewolf this time. Boy, they just weren't trying at this point. You know, there's another altered beast for the uh, probably for the PlayStation, where much like uh, when they tried to revive Bionic Commando, they absolutely missed the point of what made it entertaining at all. I haven't played it, but apparently they remade it and instead of being about Greek mythology, it became some sort of, uh, some sort of, you are the ultimate military bioweapon kind of crap. That's, you know, just my vaguest guess, really. Oh, my poor cat, he looks so... Whoa! Why are you letting me out? Because you can wait ten seconds, horse. Come on. All right. Welcome to your doom. And here, what's, look what's going on to the front here. It looks like Guernica. Yes. Hey, remember this guy? Remember him? Yes, he was at he was at Badenon. This is the end boss of Altered Beast, who is one of Wreck It Ralph's friends. However, he's only one of Wreck It Ralph's friends when he's very badly injured. And all I have to do is just keep cutting off his ears over and over again, and he won't know what to do. Woo! Take that, ears. Yep. Oh. He's changed his attacks, but I don't have to. Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh! Oh, the old man had a heart attack. Round clear bonus. Woo! Look what I did! Oh, I only got second! Against myself, of course. So while I'm punching in my initials... Yes! Athena is herself again! Ready to star in her own terrible NES game! Where she gets to wear a big green helmet and uh, dress up as a mermaid and 
Lots of other stuff. What happened? I thought I was... Oops. Yay! Finally, with her dream lover, a man with a dog head. Oh, you remember this moment? Wasn't this great? Oh, and who could forget that? And then the time when... Wait, they never fought. When did that happen? And... Oh, it was five different guys all along. Okay. Were they Ferengi? Oh, and back at the very beginning... And, oh, this is the wedding. Of course, Zeus conducts the wedding. And that... What? A behind-the-scenes footage? <laughs> there was a guy dressed in the round leech costume? <laughs> what an incredible twist ending! Oh, wow. Well, I came in second as Easy N. Those aren't my initials, but I didn't actually get to put them in. Well, Altered Beast, everyone! Hope you're hungry!